Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create this very cool-looking motion graphic piece inside of After Effects using some shape layers. And we don't need to use any third-party plugins to create this. It's a very simple yet a very appealing-looking animation. Here, I have used a circle, but you can use different shapes like uh, maybe a triangle, a square, or even different kind of shapes if you want to. And if you guys like this kind of animations, then you should definitely check out my Gaze Graphics Pack, which offers over 4,500 plus super cool animations. And uh, I've spent over six months with my team building this pack from scratch. And right now we have a special sale going on where this pack is currently selling for just 39 bucks. And not only that, if you purchase this pack before, 30th of august you will get our 555 plus titles and the 550 plus motion graphics pack absolutely free so at the price of 39 bucks you get three different packs all of them works with atom x extensions so you don't need to switch between different um, project files and stuff like that you can very easily browse through all the three packs and uh, this is a limited time offer this offer is only valid until 30th of august so i definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the link in the description and show some love if you want to support this channel and help me create more free tutorials for you guys so uh, with that said let's now jump into after effects and get started with this tutorial All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Then the first thing that we will create is the background. So I'm going to hit Control Y to create a new solid. Call this BG for a background. I'm going to hit OK. Go into Effects and Preset and type in a fill or search for fill effect double click to apply that and uh, for the background i'm going to go with kind of a dark uh, muted blue background you can of course go with any color that you like and then it's pretty simple you can click and hold and select the ellipse tool now make sure the fill is set to none so i can just simply click here and set this to none hit ok and stroke i i'm going to keep it randomly at a very high number something like um, 300 around 300 and click drag and hold control alt and shift at the same time to create a perfect circle like so so i'm going to create a pretty um, big ellipse or a circle and place it accordingly the way i want so i'm going to keep it around 320 looks good and you can anytime jump into ellipse one ellipse path one and increase the size so i can keep it around like so that looks um pretty good i can maybe pump that up to 350 all right that is looking good to me now let's animate this circle so to animate it i'm going to go into the add property and let's add a trim path all right and in the trim path section we can play around with number of different properties so first thing i'm going to bring down the end property a bit like around 80 85 86 percent and right now you can see we get this choppy edges now you can go with this kind of look if you want to but I prefer going with a rounded corner so I can simply jump into stroke one and here we get this option called line cap. I'm going to change this from butt cap to rounded cap. So it looks pretty decent. And then let's bring this down to around 80 percent should be good. OK, so everything is looking good. Now we can go ahead and animate this. So I'm going to go to one second, create a keyframe on the size, the end property the offset and also on the stroke width all right then i can simply hit u so we can only see the keyframes the properties that we have created the keyframes on let's go back bring down the size a bit so something like that and bring down the end property like so but at the same time i'm gonna also rotate the offset or offset this basically and then bring down the end property to zero and then bring down the stroke width to around let's go 50 or something and now we have this really interesting reveal of our shape this looks pretty good now if i preview this it is good but it's a very snappy and uh, looks very choppy which doesn't look like a good motion 
so in order to improve this first thing i'm going to select all the keyframes right click go into keyframe assistant and easy ease them or simply hit f9 then jump into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph all right i'm going to place my time indicator on 15 frames that is the center or the middle section of both the keyframes select these points hold shift and drag this um, handles so around the influence of around 90 or something around 85 90 percent so this one to around 85 as well and now if i preview the animation let's see what we get as you can see it looks much more cool yep that is the look i want to go with our animation animates a shape animates in and then it stays still i don't really want that i want to have a continuous movement on this shape so i can use a simple uh, expression first of all let's set the end property all the way up to 100 percent just for the time being because if i select this you can see our anchor point is not into the center so i can simply hold control and make sure your end property is at 100 percent hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and then bring back the end um, property to 85 or 80 whatever that you want to go with probably 80 and then i can hit r to bring down the rotation properties and now if i rotate it you can see it's going to rotate properly because the anchor point is now properly into the center so i can simply hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then we can add a simple expression of time into 5 so we have a very minimal rotating movement to the shape which looks pretty decent and then let's color this shape up so i'm going to go into effects and preset search for ramp that is the gradient ramp double click to add that let's switch to radial ramp i'm going to place this point somewhere around there and this one right over here now you can of course go with any color that you like i'm going to go with something like a combination of a blue and orange so i'm going to keep this darker blue tone like so it's way too dark so somewhere around there and let's bring that a bit more to the teal side yep that is a looking much better and set the ram scatter to 100 percent so we don't get any kind of a ugly color bendings so that is looking pretty cool now we can simply duplicate the shape hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit s to bring down the scale properties and scale this down to get our second shape i'm going to jump into the shape properties go into effects go into con content sorry and if i go into transform ellipse one i have another rotation property right over here so i can just simply rotate this into a different uh, direction so we have this really cool animation looks pretty cool and then i can now also move the gradient ramp point so i can move this to a different position and move this maybe somewhere around there so we have a little bit more variation as you can see it looks pretty nice and now i can duplicate this at Control d and you know basically create a bunch of copies i can also change the color so i'm going to keep this at yellow and this one to a nice uh, orange color and scale that down somewhere around there you know and then um, jump into the properties you can hit u two times to reveal um, all the properties here so i can just change the rotation to something like that and also i'm going to scale this down a bit more i guess and also one more thing that i want to do here is if i hit u so i can see the keyframes i'm going to go to one second and increase the stroke or width a bit just to make it a bit more um, jagged same for this one i'm gonna increase the stroke with a little bit hit s and bring down the scale bro so that is looking good and um, now let's create a few copies so i'm gonna hit ctrl d to duplicate it and place one right here hit u two times to reveal the properties rotate it in a different direction like so and i'm gonna play around with these scales so i'm gonna place this something like so and obviously uh move the gradient points to the way i want so i'm gonna keep this one here and keep this one right over here something like that now you can of course play around with uh, different colors
so that is uh, looking good to me all right so that is looking good let's go ahead and select our text tool and type in the text so you can of course type in again anything that you want i'm gonna type in creative i'm using poppins which is a free font an awesome font and uh, let's animate our text first of all um let's bring that down a little bit okay align this into the center and i'm gonna animate this text basically now before animating this make sure that you go into the paragraph section and make sure your text is set to alignment center text not on alignment left all right so i'm going to select this click on this button go into animate and let's add an opacity let's go into animate and add a tracking i believe yeah so here we have the animation i'm going to go to around uh, one second or let's go to one second 15 frames and uh, bring down the opacity to zero go into the go into the range selector and then we can animate the offset like so so let's set the offset to 100 percent create a keyframe go back to around 20 frames and set this to zero then go into the advanced properties and bring down the smoothness to zero so now we have this shopee reveal which looks pretty cool and right here and then i'm going to go into the animator 2 that is where we have added the tracking amount create a keyframe go to maybe around uh, three seconds and let's increase this a little bit like so so let's go something like eight then select these keyframes you can hit f9 or go into keyframe assistant easy ease them go into the graph editor and then drag this handle to all the way up to the left this one as well so now it reveals and there we have a snappy snappy movement i think which looks pretty interesting it's pretty minimal but these are all the details that are going to matter and uh, you know make our piece look amazing pretty amazing yeah so that is looking very nice i think and i can also add a scale animation to all the shapes here so i can just select them hit s so we can see the scale property i'll go to around let's go to 20 frame create a keyframe go to around let's say one second in 20 frames select this one set this to around 25 select this one set this to 30 select this one set this to i don't know maybe 50 or let's set this to 40 and uh, select this one set this to 1 1 10 and now select all the keyframes going to keyframe assistant easy ease them go into the graph editor and again i'm going to place my time indicator in the middle and drag the handles to the center like so and now we have this really cool and interesting you know scale animation which looks interesting i think i think i will increase the shape this one pretty cool and a boom basically that's all we have to do to create this cool looking animation one thing that i uh, missed out is how to animate the background which is super simple so what i want to do is go to around uh, 15 frames select control a hit control a sorry select everything hit uh, u to close them up move them just like so make sure i don't move the background and let's animate the background so i'm going to go to around uh, 25 frames hit s unlink this create a keyframe go back and uh, set this to zero and boom there we have it so let's hit f9 to easy ease them or keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph and basically create the same animation and there we have a cool little motion graphic piece ready to roll now here i have used circular shapes but you can of course use any kind of shapes you can use a triangle a rectangle a square whatever that you want and if you enjoyed this kind of animation and if you are looking for more such animations then please do check out our gaze graphics pack which has over 4500 plus animations that you can check it out there are so many varieties in this package and i cannot recommend this enough it's my own pack 
so i definitely want you guys to go ahead and check it out it's currently on sale for 39 bucks which is awesome again and if you purchase this pack you get our 555 plus titles and the 550 plus motion graphics pack absolutely free now to claim your free packs all you have to do is head on to our profile on the video hive scroll down below and just type in hashtag taupe gift and send it to us once we verify your purchase we will manually send you our titles pack and our motion graphics pack absolutely free with the purchase code so make sure to go ahead and grab our gaze graphics pack which is currently on discount for just 39 bucks again this pack contains so many different animations like transition titles lower thirds huge title which is one of my favorite if you guys if i can give you guys a quick look you can see we have some really interesting uh, title animations here which are super premium and looks very very cool then we have instagram stories instagram posts social media animation logo reveals animated devices call out shape elements icons backgrounds infographics audio spectrum vintage badges gradient basically every little thing every animation that you will ever need for your amazing project also you get over 500 plus sound effects so you don't have to look for sound effects anywhere else so i definitely recommend you guys we have spent over four months building this pack from scratch so it i would really appreciate if you guys can go ahead and check it out with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.